Good afternoon, Mr. Jean. Good afternoon. How are you today, sir? Your name again? My name is George. George. Nchumbonga Lekelefak. Okay. I'm from Cameroon. I was born in Cameroon, where Bishop Fred is from. Oh, wonderful. And I'm here in the Virgin Islands for the very first time. Appreciate that. And I got, Welcome. Thank you. And I got to know about the Virgin Islands. Yes. From the nomination of the bishop. Okay. That was on the 2nd of March, 2021. So before then, I was ignorant about <laughs> the Virgin <laughs> Islands. You so I'm so excited to be here. You had missed something in your life. Can you imagine? You get it I'm getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Jean Dragon, it's, uh, it's an honor to be with you. It's my honor. I have been to told that you've you had a wonderful experience, in not only wonderful, but and a long experience in this island. You're a man who knows all I'm, the notes. I'm a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. bit. A little bit. <laughs> but I thank the mighty God to bring me in St. Thomas. I born in Guadeloupe. Oh, really? Yes, I born in Guadeloupe. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I had two aunts was married living here. Yes. And he got a uh, time I had me to go on a vacation. Oh, I see. For a month. So I have family and children in Paris. Wow. So they had want me to come there. But I said no. Okay. I never been in the Virgin Island, just like you said. Yes. And I could not speak English. Oh, what could you speak? French. Don't you parle français? Yeah, oui, je parle oh, français. Ah, on plaisir. So, uh, I said, okay, I going to come in St. Damos. Okay. I could see the movement and how it's operated. Exactly. So I came, I lived here one month on vacation. Okay. And with my two aunt. Yes. And then, I fell in love with the place just like you say. Okay. And I when said, was that? Uh, this is, um, I think, a 68, 67, 68. 68, that's low way back. I wasn't born. 54 years ago. Wow, 54 50 years, years ago. in this island. Yes. Wow. So I fell in love when. Uh, you know, I, I was young and this boy, okay, like, you know, you want to talk to the girl and things like that. Yes. So, everybody talking to me. You were not answering because you couldn't understand. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, I say, really? I say, I don't come back here. Okay. To, to my, learn. My idea, yeah. I thought it was going to be used like that. I say, okay, I'm interested in our language. Yeah. So, I don't came. Come back and send down us. Yeah. Spend some time, speak English, English, and go to Puerto Rico and teach. And learn no Spanish, Spanish. <laughs> and get back to Guadalupe. Okay. Because at that time, trust me, I had a good job okay. in Guadalupe. In Guadalupe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had so it's an island. island. Yeah, no, no, Guadalupe is a big country. Oh, it's not an island. No, no, no. no is it country. far from uh, Virgin Island? Yeah, um, yeah, maybe two, three hours fly. That way. Wow, it's really far. Yeah, yeah. I thought you came in with, no. with a boat or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, therefore, I say, okay, um, I got to come back okay. to learn English. Yeah. It was not the job per se. Okay, that brought you here. No. You I, had a good job. I had a good job. Right there. The fact is, when I was in Guadalupe, yes. and I had a job, and they were paying a driver to drive me. Can you imagine? You imagine that. Wow. I had a guy named Amade Dorio, and this guy had to drive me every day to go to, to the work and back. Wow. Yes. So when I go back, yeah. and I tell the people the experience of yeah. the island, and the island was not like now. So how was it then? Then it was sweet like sugar. <laughs> In what sense? Saint, Saint Thomas was sweet like sugar. Okay. The people, you're talking about the people good now, you should have been at this time. Okay. The people were so good, door open, oh, you could get food, you could get you. amusement, oh. all over to the island. Okay. It was amazing, amazing. Wow. So at that time, this is the type of life I used to have in Guadeloupe and Malgalan. Oh, so I say, well, it I got something matching where I come from. Okay. So when it came there, it was a lot of fun. Okay. A yeah. lot of fun and good people. People would not kill people. Oh. It was nothing. So we come in isolation. I used to be cheating my grandma, my grandmother. Okay. To be in church every Sunday. Wow. So you came. Even though we have to walk. 
mileage and mileage to go to church. Yeah. But we have to walk. Take our shoes, put it on our shoulder, oh, and walk back with them. How many because hours? we don't want the shoes mash up too fast because you can't get shoes. Oh. So therefore... So you have to walk to church? Oh, it's you know, you know, in Guadalupe. Oh, yeah. How many hours? Oh, we used to take sometimes almost a half an hour to go to church. Oh, my God. And you got to walk yeah. back and forth. So, but with my grandmother, yes. you have to go. Yes, it was an obligation. Right? No complaint. <laughs> and be in church at time. Wow, punctual. Because when they, you know, that time they didn't have no telephone, no radio. Exactly. But if you then, you misbehaving, when you wish back home, your grandmother know you misbehaving. Oh, she will know, people will tell her. I don't, nobody know how they use <laughs> to know. <laughs> so, I know when looking, you better believe some tamale in a bamboo line, okay. prepare for you. <laughs> Oh my God, that's the childhood you had. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very street, Christian. I, I tell you, wow. and let me tell you, I could say, far my mother never touched me. Okay. But my grandmother put some blows on me. Wow. Because you know when you're young, you're disgusting. That's true. But you know when I appreciate what my grandmother do is now, oh. when I wish order, yeah. And I say you right to give me this blows because he make me a man. Exactly. Yes, Strong my grand man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will never forget and my grandmother died. My mother died, but every day I got wet for them. Exactly. And because she, it do me well. The formation she gave you was a Christian formation with values. Exactly. You know the value of God and life and respect for people. And that's why you transmitted it to others. Exactly. I was told that you are a parishioner of Holy Family Parish where we be afraid to spend a long time. Yes. And I was also told that you're the finance the final year in the finance committee. Yes. And that you're the chair of the contact and the money. The, 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 the money when I come money, the every collection Sunday. every Sunday I am responsible okay. with a group the of county. people to cut and to go to the bank and deposit and deposit yes. and everything. And this is um thank God we never have an incident. Okay. Everything, everything well, well, transparent, perfect. Well, very well. God is the ma at the mate of everything. God is so that's working good up to now. now. And you are also a captain on Saturday. A Saturday mass. Oh, the Every captain checking. You know, at uh, Saturday mass, you were the captain for the other usher, oh. and to make sure um, the door closed, the door open, oh. and greeting the yeah people, usher, uh, okay. the, the usher the, people to uh, yeah, greeting the parishioners. Before they enter the church, yes, and um, either you locally here, yeah. or you are about coming, especially the tourists. Uh -huh. You're supposed to have a very special way of talking to the tourists, so exactly. well, they might come again. Oh, that's right, that's right. And you are also a member of Saint Vincent de Paul. Saint Vincent de Paul, and um, because I always believe you have to help in the poor. So when St. Vincent de Paul come in, yes. and we have a priest named Father Cashman. Okay. He was uh, from Philippines. And this priest with me was just as I with Monsignor Joa. Okay. So he taught me and told me, yeah. I need to go to Paris to visit St. Vincent de Paul. I do went to Paris. Yeah. And I went as the biggest attraction in Paris, yeah. Saint yes. Saint yes. Saint and I went and I see exactly what he described to me. Yes. The Saint Saint de Paul laid down there, and so you liked it. I said, Man, we need to do something. Mm -hmm. So when the brought in this, automatically I was a member of it. Okay. And up to now, we're not active as he was, yes. but. I, we're willing to work in on it because you know some of the people die and then um, we have a strong member that just died in New York um, this week. Oh, strong yes, member. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, when we were doing food and she was there, if she wasn't feel good, yes. she was there doing 
serving the people and all these things. Okay. So yeah. I'm very honored to be a part of St. Vincent. No, I'm Lord. so happy to, to, to yeah. listen to your story. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to be some friends. When did you meet this man for the first time? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> He's always laughing. Yeah, yeah, he's laughing with me. He's, he's joking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, we say I got to begin from from when was father, the first time? Father, father Joe, 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 first. Oh, Joe. So you knew him when he was a father. Yeah. Not a deacon. No, I, no. Before he was a father. Good. That yeah. was 1989. Yes, he was a deacon. Can you begin from there? But I, <laughs> I was more or less an holy family at that time. But whenever we was coming, yeah. and I see him, but at this time we was speak a little French together. Oh, that's what attracted okay. you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we was. Uh, and so at this time, we becoming very friendly, friendly very friendly. Wow. When he was um, to Odin, yeah, I guess twenty seven years ago almost. Wow. Yeah. And for, I think a bishop of um, maybe the O'Malley. O'Malley. Good. And then when I said I said, but they are going for you being yeah. police. Okay. Okay. So we stay there, and then we begin to be closer and closer because he got more responsibility in the church. Yes, and then I have my responsibility, and I am having a little business. Okay. So whenever he needs something. He called me, and if I could do it for free, I do it for free. If I could say, give me a little money to pay the people, mm -hmm. we've been a poet and very good. Okay. He becoming Bishop Thomas. Yes. When Bishop Thomas becoming Bishop, okay. and Bishop Thomas signed him after he had a big hurricane there okay. to be going to Holy Family, and Bishop Thomas tell him, you need to go to Jean. And to make in the assessment for the insurance, uh -huh. therefore we working very hard okay. to do the assessment to the insurance. And if I may say, without any offense, nobody, the first set of money we getting from the insurance at that time is was the money we was I was put on a parish council, council. to. For this money, for we to build Columban Hall. Oh, that hall is so beautiful. Okay. That's so big. So I saw it yesterday. We went and um, we put on that little money there. Okay. And the church was doing, I don't know if, whatever you don't want to take it off, okay? Okay. But at this time, the church was doing a lot of little investment to try to build money. Okay. And I remember I being seriously. Involved. Involved. When we had been investment coming from New York okay. to give the idea, and I was always inviting a part of it. Okay. And we got a time, I had made some suggestion. Okay. They then work with it, but after that, they realized they should. Oh, really? Because at that time, something passing, we losing some money. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it never mind. So therefore, I am Bishop Fredo. Well, Monsignor Fredo is in a different. Yes. We be working hard. Um, he be coming a chancellor, okay. and uh, with the school, and then, uh, and then um, he be the priest. It's Bishop put him under name and then help okay. because he was very bright and devoted for his job. For what he was doing. And respectable. Oh wow. So therefore. The when um, Bishop O'Malley passed it down to Bishop Thomas, yeah. Bishop Thomas was embracing the same way. Okay. And when Bishop Thomas passed it down to be um, a Bavard, okay. Bishop Bavard, oh, he was the assistant bishop. Okay. And then this time I was a little disappointed. Why? Because he was in, with us and Holy Family. And we were doing very well. So why were you disappointed? Well, when I glad they gave him a better position in town. Okay. When, when he lived there, ah, we were trying try to build up the holy family. You were disappointed that he left. Yes. So okay. <laughs> when Bishop Barber come in, yes. he sees something at this place. Wow. So Yanos, he got bring him in church. Oh, I see. Him. So <laughs> bring him there, and he was. 
number one for Bishop Bobay. And he was rector of this cathedral. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. So he was the pastor here. Yeah. And he was the pastor before. Okay. But after that, the, the bishop went, he was pastor, pastor. And he was number one for the bishop. Okay. I remember when one time the bishop was traveling and traveling and all the people come to go oh, the bishop never here and was in I said, listen, the bishop going away because we didn't have money here okay. and the bishop were going away and teach my senior Joe my uncle God was no why he was going with him to know the place know the place and exactly. to know how to beg for money exactly. because he and the bishop they know how to beg and yet they know they went all, all over they had, yeah. okay so I make an joke I say okay are you talking about the bishop but when he come back, he come with a briefcase with money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, when my senior going, when my senior, he said, I'm going to preach. Yes. And when he come back, he come with money and money. Money. <laughs> Because, listen, trust me. Yeah. If this was not the Bishop Bavard yes. and my senior Jerome at the last minute there, okay. Catholic Church would have been closed. In this uh, St. Thomas. Catholic and the Bishop. Bishop Bavard and he had not seen none of them no. He was calling me, invite me at his private house okay. and sit down and talk to me just like I am talking. Okay. Okay? Right. And I remember that at the time he said, Jim, I've been head of how many school in my parish and I love it and I could do everything in my power wow. to keep Catholic school open and he do he work hard on that he and my senior yeah always together two they weeks. working together okay <clears throat> when raise money yeah i honor twice and holy family twice okay. as a professional oh, wow. i honor one time with bishop Thomas. Okay. and one time with bishop baba and my senior so you were honored twice Twice. Tell me more about that statue, the Holy Family statue. Why was it uh, constructed and why was it installed? Uh, uh, the Holy Family statue. I do that. You did that? I do that. Wow. Both of them. You see one on top there yes. and one with Virgin Mary is? Exactly. Now, that's a story. I want to hear that story. When <laughs> um, we was working, I tell you about uh, Father Cashman. Yes. Father Cashman. He was from where? Guadalupe. I work from Guadalupe, but he worked from um, Filipino. I was a Filipino. Now Filipino oh, okay. So we were working hard, hard, very hard. I see. So he got on time. I can't remember which bishop come in the side. Okay. All the church got to bring the money to the cathedral. Exactly. So Father Cashman called me. Yes. He said, Jean. <laughs> Jim, we Jim. got to use that money before the deadline okay. to take the money. He said the money is the Holy Family Parish people okay. and they work hard to put okay. the money there. We got to use it. We got about three years we were planning to do that. Okay. It was a, a big committee on that. Yes. And the, as I could remember, the head of this committee was Leonard Monsanto. Okay. who was a deacon, who was a very parishioner's fool. Okay. Aston Madina. Yes. And it was myself. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember if Wendy was was on that meeting, but we were trying to put on a big deal to be in the shrine. But it took two or three years. They can't come with nothing. Oh, really? Everything none can agree with no one. So when this coming I mean, Bishop uh, Father Cashman said hello, yeah. I'm not going to wait for no more meeting. Okay. We must use We're money. going to use that money to build that shrine. Oh wow. So one day I over to my place, Father Cashman called me. Okay. I, I think it was about nine, ten o'clock. Yeah, nine. Um, at the morning. Oh, in the morning. He said, Jean. You come here now. 
Who? He got a, a bulldozer going up the hill. I stop him. Okay. And I talking to him for cutting this or we do that. Come, 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 come. <laughs> and when you're talking about my church, yeah. I leave anything I do in for your church. Oh yeah. Wow. So when you can I come in, he say, okay. I don't talk to the driver. Yeah. And we got to build this and we got to move on it. We went, we tell the uh, uh, how to cut this, how to cut this. Yeah. And we the next day we got people there to build this. We're working on that, working on that. Wow. So of course, Mr. Medina and Lena Monsanto was a little mad. Okay. And because they say, oh, I am father, decide to do that. But it's over two, three years. Wow. We was waiting. Long in, long in. Can you imagine? So, <laughs> and we need to use the money wow. before the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> so, therefore, therefore, boy, and I, I have a group of people working for me at that time. Okay. We, Walking, we're walking. We begging a little bit, and we zoom that. Okay. And I remember quite. Hey, you got Alicia Duty. Okay. He was working for a big company making concrete and everything. Okay. Here so, in Saint Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So we are talking with Alicia Duty. Yeah. And because I say I want to build it, but put stone there. Okay. So Alicia said, Okay, I'm gonna walk to get him or some stone mm -hmm. over there. So Alicia Lute was a bad part of the country, a big part of okay. the country for that. For that. So we walking on that and I remember very well if he died, yes. this name you got um, Mr. Padilla. Okay. He was an electrician. Oh. Tough top electrician. Yes. So when uh, and those guys will believe in me because when they see I come in and the church I was Young, but I was very vibrant very in the church. So everybody was impressing me. So Mr. Padilla said, Chin, anytime you meet me there, I'm going to be there. Wow. So all the electricity we didn't need to pay for that. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Padilla was doing all this work, mm -hmm. and we do that. So we come in, we build a shrine. Yeah. And if you look there, you could still see. For the Cashman name there. I can see, and then there's another, this other shrine with names of people. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people donated and are exactly. uh, contributing. And then the, it was a shrine given the, 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 the statue of the Holy Family. The, yeah. Was it was it a gift to the bishop and mm -hmm. the family? Yes, it was. Uh, I don't remember if uh, Wendy was doing a lot on those two. Okay. Wendy was. And uh, he's in the Virgin Mary inside of the church. Yes. Yeah, he, he um, contributing for that Children of Mary. Okay. Children of Mary do a big part of the wow. church. So, so, the, so the, the Holy Family statue yeah. was given to the, to, to the then Father Fredro as a gift from the Bishop, um, um, uh, Bishop uh, Beva and okay. the Christian community. Right, right, wow. right. So, and his family. And the Holy Family. Wow. So when Bishop Beva come in, yes. since he was living at the East, Oh, so really? they say, yeah, you see what Bishop Yes, did. yes. So they said what Bishop Bavad. I went there yesterday. Yeah, he was living there. Nice. And I do a lot of work there too. Oh, nice. oh yeah, I do a lot of work there. Nice house. Okay. So therefore, when Bishop Bavad come in yeah. and he said to the people, he was a um, member of Holy Family. Oh, did he? Yeah, because he lived in the East. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So to go back to my bishop now. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. So. My bishop, when uh, I jump in a little back, yes. when Father the, the Bishop Thomas yes. sent him okay. over there, and first thing he tell them on Holy Family was Jean Dragon is my friend. Okay, that's the first thing he told him. Tell first thing he tell Holy Family parishioners. Okay, he introduced himself and he said Jean Dragon is okay. my friend. You make sure you tell Holy Family Church. Wow. People saw that, okay? And that is there, there. We walk in head to head. When you see the, the first time it was there, yes. where you say you're eating there, mm -hmm. I and he fix up that place so good, okay. put cabinet, everything nice. Wow. The, the place was really a limbo. Mm -hmm. So they would decide. They're demolishing the whole thing. So 
after the sending of the family. Yeah. So another priest was yeah. pastor there. Okay. And you got to know him. <laughs> so they take off everything we had to do there oh. and say the church, the place cannot be used anymore. So when they send back, yeah. Father Joan, they call me, say, Jim, if you see all the work we're doing, how it is there, and look what I can call in your eyes. Mm. So you say, okay, come down. We got to restore the kitchen. Yeah. And you see how the kitchen is now? So beautiful. You see how everything there now? Yeah. Now, the, nobody going to sleep yeah. there in the church. And they, they, because the way everything was a mess. He and Bishop Bob Bayan yeah. working hard. We have a portion of us okay. becoming a deacon, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Frank Corny. Okay. He contributed a lot. Wow. A lot there. Is he still um, he and still coming every um October, but I don't know somehow I yeah, see him this October. Okay. Yeah, so he contributed, I do my part, Bishop Bavard and Masina. Do and the parishioners, of course, exactly. do their yeah. part. Yeah. And we get in this thing, we storage. The cathedral yeah, was in a bad shape. Yeah. Bad, bad shape. Wow. And you got to tell the work thing in a closet. Bishop Bavard said to me, that and his umbrella. Okay. So he put on the to work mm. and my senior. Yeah. They come in with uh, appeal for Bishop Appeal, yeah. and they come in with some fundraising. Yeah. And you know, they choose um, Mrs. Payne, yeah. I meet you meet her, yeah. and Mrs. Charlotte. Okay. I show you meet them. Charlotte, my dear. Charlotte, a white lady, okay. there was uh, there, and Mr. Boch come in and work hard too. Wow. So, therefore, start to raise money. For the for the cathedral, and so we are finished with Holy Family. Yes, yes, Holy Family. Yeah, Holy Family. Like I said, oh, something I must say about Holy Family. Okay. When Father came Holy Family, yeah. Of course, he sat down with me just like you. Okay. And I said, man, Jim. How we can do to bring Holy Family the way it is because he got the time. Holy Family was almost the cathedral. Oh, wow. You could ask anybody at the cathedral of Holy Family. Anybody? Holy Family was progressing, okay. and the Holy Spirit was there. Wow! And um, <laughs> when you're looking, people get healed in Holy Family. Of course, okay. it's a Holy Family. Okay. And that's right, I love this place because I, I forget to tell you the beginning. Okay. When I came here, I say, Holy Family, I said this, my family away from home. Exactly. So I adopted. Oh. And the church, I got to give you a little story on that. It makes up. The church was not building the beginning Holy Family. Oh, what do you mean? The church building began over to a portion of there was calling. Miss um, you, 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 Blanche. Yeah, Blanche is our husband, um, Larry Boyan. I see. Larry Boyan, oh. this is where the Holy Family started. Okay. And right there, opposite the church, mm -hmm. it was um, my, uh, what this lady named uh, Miss Michael. Okay. Her husband was uh, a judge. Oh, wow. And th this woman was oh, all achieved there. And, we begin the church and then the church will begin there. He got a priest. I can't remember the name of the priest. And yeah. yeah, was living right there. Okay. So we were doing the church there yeah. and there. I remember well where you go in the church mm -hmm. from the parking lot. Yeah. Right at the entrance there. Mm -hmm. It used to be a little plywood house we built there oh. with plywood. Wow. And this is yeah, he used to have a red work there. Okay. And we were working sometime more than our foot to go church. It was like a little chapel. 